Why East Africa has more megaprojects than West Africa? This continent is endowed with vast natural and human resources, as well as a rich cultural heritage. Military dictatorship, corruption, civil upheaval and conflict have all wreaked havoc on many governments on this continent. All of these impediments have hampered the development of many of these countries, leaving them impoverished. Meanwhile, some countries do not have the kind of bad leadership that prevents them from progressing. East Africa is a good example of what it means to be a developing country. African Reloaded examines why East Africa has more megaprojects than West Africa. When it comes to basic development characteristics, there are significant discrepancies between West African countries. The poor performance of West and Central African countries is primarily due to a combination of low GDP per capita and a very inadequate education sector. One of the factors that contribute to the East's economic success is its diverse economies. Some West African countries rely too much on a few industries, whilst others in the East do not. Kenya, for example, has a much more broad range of businesses that contribute to the country's economic success. Kenya's tourism, mining, manufacturing, financial services, forestry and fishing industries are all prominent. The diversity of East African economies protects against single-sector volatility, such as the collapse of gold prices, which wiped out more than half of the economy. It also allows various industries to pull each other higher by feeding off of one another's power. Furthermore, economic growth will be aided by a strong national infrastructure. This can be seen in bridges, train lines, highways, tunnels, and telecommunication infrastructure. These infrastructures encourage development and, more importantly, bring enterprises closer together, facilitating and speeding up trade. Currently, billions of dollars are being invested in large-scale projects that are stalling the country's development. In West African countries, however, this is not the case. How can there be a strategy for projects when there are lousy leaders in place and plenty of corruption? And even if there is, will they ever be completed? Because running a business can be difficult, governments that impose excessive paperwork on business owners may discourage them from doing so. East African countries have recognized this and have worked with their governments to establish regulatory obligations including property registration and transfers. Kenya has also developed a digital taxation system to help businesses save money while also allowing the government to collect more taxes. Rwanda is the second easiest African country to do business with, behind Kenya, fourth, and Seychelles, fifth. These are some of the factors that contribute to East Africa's higher number of mega projects than West Africa's. Export, political stability, and favorable regulatory circumstances are all essential factors from there. The environment, infrastructure, and various economies are the only reasons why East African countries are more developed and evolved than their West African counterparts. If you are a new, you are welcome to join us. Consider subscribing, like, commenting, and sharing this channel.